Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting feature exception technique from binary image where we are going to use some fundamental geometrical concept which we have already studied in our mathematics course okay and this particular concept is going to help us in image processing related stuffs as well as machine learning also okay especially in case of safe detection so if you recall the formula of circle what is the area formula that is nothing but pi r square right and what is the perimeter perimeter is 2 pi r okay where r is the radius of the circle now you multiply 4 pi with this area what you will be getting see if you multiply 4 into pi with this area you will be getting 4 pi into pi r square because area of the circle is pi r square so 4 pi into pi r square pi into pi will become pi square so you will be getting 4 pi square r square and if you just do perimeter square what you will be getting see perimeter is 2 pi r if you square you will be getting 4 pi square r square right so this is very important property that if I am having one shape which is circular then if you multiply 4 into pi with this area you will be getting same result if you just square the perimeter okay so in simple words we can say 4 pi a by perimeter square should be nearly equal to 1 or very close to 1 in case of circular shape very very important concept okay now we are going to use this property to detect circular object so here i am taking one object see how i have written the code clc clearal closure warning of m is equal to i m binarize rgb to gray i am read test dot jpg so i have taken one image that is we are i am converting from gray rgb to gray scale that is color to gray scale image and then binarizing that title original image so let me just show you this image i hope you are familiar with this image multiple times in our previous video discussion we have used this okay now this is our original image now see here circles are present some circles have holes in it squares are present some squares have holes in it like this square this square right and some are completely intact okay without holes now what we have to do we have to separate circular objects and square objects so what we can do first step is you fill all the holes okay because if you don't fill holes that time when you will be calculating area you will be getting different value area means complete object area will be calculating right if somewhere hole is present then while calculating area that part will not be considered and that time this particular equality might not be hold so while you are applying this particular property to check the shape that time first what you do you fill all the holes okay so what i am doing I am filling all the holes here see figure I am calculating the size of my image one zero matrix of same size I am creating to store the circular objects and then filling all the holes I am fill MS MS is my original binary image and holes okay filling all the holes and showing that and title I am giving image after filling holes so let me run this whole code and see here this is what we are getting after filling holes okay now what we can do there is a function inbuilt function which is called region probes okay it will give us region properties that is for each binary object you can get many region properties okay so here i am interested only in area and parameter for each binary object that is for this particular circle what is the area and perimeter for this binary object what is area and perimeter for this binary object like that for all the binary objects i want to get what is area what is parameter perimeter and then i can calculate that particular formula that is 4 pi a by pi square and then based on value we can conclude that whether that is 
circle or whether that is square okay now we need to traverse through all the all these objects right so we need to first find out how many binary objects are present in this particular image that's why i am calculating this one okay n num equal to bw level x so when you are applying bw level the second output argument will give us number of binary objects present in it so for r equal to 1 colon num so that many times we will traverse okay circularity okay that is this particular feature is measurement of how much object is circular right so that's why i have given the name circularity circularity equal to 4 into pi into see stats 1 is where my area and perimeter for different different binary objects are stored so stats 1 of r so one particular binary object i am picking and for that area i am taking okay so stats one of r dot area because this is structure so dot method using dot method we are extracting the particular area value okay so we are multiplying 4 pi with the area then dividing by the perimeter square as simple as that right okay so stats one of r dot perimeter dot power two right so I am calculating the 4 pi area by perimeter square property and then this is the threshold value I am keep keeping for this particular use case. It might happen that you might have to change this depending on your use case okay or the scenario which you are facing. So if circularity greater than equal to 0 0.94 that time I will conclude okay that particular object is my circular object right else that will be square object so as i have told you circularity should be very close to one okay so as you can see here also i am taking very high threshold value very close to one so what i am doing the image which i have created as empty image that is zero matrix in that i am storing the values okay so here no need else but for the time being okay so this L equal to equal to R that means we are com comparing that for that particular R value okay which label label in labeled object we are searching and those values we are putting in my process each time I am doing like this so as a result up at the end of this particular execution of this for loop what will happen in the process image all the circular objects is going to be stored I also process title will be what image with whole field circular object because here we are we have already filled all the holes right because otherwise i have told you this particular area and perimeter will be changed that's why we have to do this so if i just run we will be getting this one so this is our original image this is image after filling holes and this is the how beautifully we have extracted only these circular parts okay now see here if you consider this circle or this circle or this circle or this circle here holes are present but we have filled holes to compute circularity right so again we want to get back the holes so what we can do we can simply multiply this original image with this one okay as a result all the square objects will obviously go away because here square objects are not present as well as the holes will come in the circular object that's what i am doing next so here you can see lkps equal to ms my original binary image dot start process okay process is the image which is containing all the circular objects but for all the circular objects holes are filled okay then i am so lkps title is image with circular objects okay and here in this image we will be getting the holes okay so here you can see So this is my figure one original image this is image after filling all the holes this is figure three containing only circular objects and this is image with circular objects and hole as well now suppose i want to get the square objects what we can do to get the square objects simple see this is original image after filling holes and this is image with hole filled circular objects right so we can subtract these two and we can get this square objects right so that's what I have done here. So here you can see LG equal to X that which is storing image with whole field objects 
minus process that is image with whole field circular objects so as a result lg will contain image with whole field square objects right so that's what i am showing here and suppose i want to count how many square objects are present so we can apply bw label on this particular image and we can show that number of square objects are display kn so if i just run this particular part so see it is showing 11 and this is image with whole field square objects okay right so let us check how many square objects actually present in my image whether it is matching see one square object two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. So 11 square objects we are perfectly getting. Now you can see here whatever square objects we have extracted for those holes are filled. Again what we can do we can multiply this one with my original image and we can get only the square objects having hole also. That's what I am doing image dot star LG where LG is this image. Image with hole filled square objects and this will give us image with square objects only. Okay which will having holes also. So see image with square objects which is having holes as well. So here I can show you. So see this is my original image and see only only the square objects are extracted and holes are also present as it is right. So this is how you can play with this obviously you can modify and apply some other logic and you might get the same result. I have just shown you one possible way because Programming logic can differ, but at the end of the day, you have to reach your destination. Your aim should be satisfied. What image analysis you want to perform, that should come. That should come as a result, right? So the same code I'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. Thank you for watching.